Hey everyone, it's Rin from Sew in Love. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create high-waisted pants from any pants sewing pattern. And we're gonna do that by increasing the crotch length. You'll need a sewing pattern for a pair of pants that you like. I'll be using the Hannah Patton's Yoko Pants pattern. So this sewing pattern um, can also be converted into overalls by attaching a bib. But for today's tutorial, we'll just be using the pants section of the sewing pattern. The original Yoko pattern is cut quite low on the waist. Um, so what we're going to do is by increasing the crotch length, we are going to raise the waistline. And as you can see here in the lighter linen um, version that I've made, you can turn it into high-waisted pants. Let's begin with the front pants pattern piece. I've stuck a yellow piece of paper to the waistline of the front pants pattern piece, as you can see with some masking tape. We want to increase the crutch length, so to do that we are going to raise the waist line by six and a half centimeters or two and a half inches. The goal is to get a total of 13 centimeters or five inches um, increase in crutch length, so we're going to split that in half across the front pants pattern and the back pants pattern pieces. Once you've drawn a line through those points to make mark the new waistline, we're going to extend the pocket opening, which is this um, angled line here, up to that new line. And now we get to the front crutch length and let's take that line um, all the way up to, again, the waistline that we marked at the beginning of the step. The Yoko pants include pleats at the front, so we're just going to transfer those markings to the new waistline. So that's the crutch length for the front pattern piece extended. So to finish off, let's just cut the pattern out along the lines that we've marked. And there you have it, you have a new high-waisted pants sewing pattern. Pretty easy, right? Now let's get on to the back pants pattern piece. We do exactly the same thing as we did for the front pants pattern. Um, we'll just extend the waistline and then um, connect the dots. So you can see the finished high-waisted back pants pattern piece here. The extension this time is in white paper. The pants has two side pockets, so we want to extend the depth of these as well to match up with the new waistline. So you follow exactly the same steps as the pants pattern pieces. There's a belt that goes around the top of the Yoko pants. This belt will sit higher on the waist now, a narrower part of the body, so we need to shorten the belt length. We'll start with the front belt. So grab your front pants pattern piece and then insert the front pocket piece in place. Let's figure out how much we need to decrease the belt by to match the higher waistline. Let's measure the original waistline width and the new waistline width and then calculate the difference between the two. A, the old width, minus B, the new width, gives us C, which is the measurement we want, the belt difference. The belt pattern piece is cut on the fold, so we'll need to divide C by 2 before adjusting its width by that number. Mark C divided by 2 from the straight edge, draw a line and cut along the line to get your adjusted belt pattern. Repeat this same step for the back belt piece, but remember for the back um, there's no pocket so you don't have to worry about inserting that pocket piece. 
You can now follow the sewing instructions that's given in the Hannah Patton's um, sewing booklet and complete your high-waisted wide leg pants. I hope this tutorial is going to help you to enjoy and get more out of sewing patterns you already own. Um, take a look in the description box for links to a blog post I've written um, explaining these steps in depth and also to shop Hannah Patterns. Thank you!